As we analyze this carefully though, you're going to notice some red flags immediately or should. You'll notice that our terminal block here, which is designed for single terminals, has number one, crimp terminals, which I'm not a big fan of crimps, as many of you know, because crimps, unfortunately, are not a precision tool, meaning the crimp tool that we use with those crimps, usually they can fracture conductors, they do all kinds of inaccurate type consistency when it comes to creating a nice bond to your conductor. That's why I'm not a big fan of them. And if you want dead on balls accurate, do yourself a favor, learn how to solder with solder and flux and that combination, get the wetting right and you'll get perfect connections. Um, looking at this, we see an, an, an up and over type connection where we have a conductor here and then we have a conductor here and they look like they're piggyback, meaning they're stacked. That is not best practice. That's not typically what you'd wanna see on a power supply and looking at this, where you have a, uh, a terminal going in here, and typically it's one screw, number one, that screw is put under quite a bit of stress because we've piggybacked these two leads. So when I confirm with the client that this is a single point terminal block, he did indeed say it was. So right there, that should be corrected along with the crimp connections, especially when we already know we're getting over voltage issues. So I hope he does decide to correct that. 